hello, it's Sarah. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I have been still on playing with solder. I've had a bunch of um, fun trying to make things out of scraps, and I'll share that with you in a minute. Um, I oh, look, I came across this one. I forgot about her. I got a cleaner. She was in my basement. And um, anywho, but I did want to mention that um, I did get Linda D had suggested in a comment that I get a some type of a vapor extractor thing, a fume extractor. I got this. It's called the smoke absorber and it has a carbon filter and you can already tell that it's getting uh, it's absorbing some of the uh, I guess it's well I, I use this it's called a salamoniac block to tin my iron with so you have your soldering iron and then you have this a salamoniac block I bought a new one and it keeps your iron clean and then you also can tin it so that it doesn't get the uh, whatever that type of, um, I don't know, it, it, it gets, I want to say condensation. That's the only word that's coming to my brain right now. I have a cold. Mm, I can't think of it, but it gets, you know, build up on there. So um, this is a very good tool for keeping it clean, but it is, it can be a little uh, toxic, you know. So I do appreciate that, Linda. Thank you so much. I definitely noticed today I mean it makes a lot of smoke when I rub that um, but my little um, my smoke absorber has been definitely helping a lot to um, keep it from being a smoky mess in here and the solder that I use um, well today I used uh, lead free solder because I was working on jewelry but um, I do I have used uh, solder with lead and tin so um, Anywho, I wanted to show you what I was doing, what I've been doing. I've still been playing with uh, the abstract, basically just trying to make little um, sun catchers out of scraps. So I, because I have a ton of glass from before when I when I made a few stained glass pieces. So I've I've tried to um, I made I finished this one. I put a little bead dangle on it with Swarovski crystals. And it's just a little, you know, abstract. It's, it's like basically three pieces of glass and then a bunch of these um, gems and then some beads. But I'm loving the wire too, twisting the wire and making it, uh, add, add, it adds to the design. I just think it's cool. So I did that one. I don't know if I showed you these. I can't remember, but I did this little um, castle, which I'd like to continue. I'm going to probably do some houses I want to do a little row of houses different size houses and um, maybe use wire as decoration on that like with windows and doors and then I just did this one this morning I finally it took me like three days I swear this was laying on my desk um, I, I love these pink and white this is white glass it's clear but it has a B on it and it's all bumpy and I had all these different pieces of it on my desk for like three days I no kidding I had these right and I just kept trying to play with them and put them in because they're scraps I didn't cut them from a design or anything <clears throat> but I went through and I found all these different uh, gems that are pink and I just went through my stash to see what I had and um, I had the hardest time making this into something but I wanted to use those pink and white with a B like see that has a B um, anywho I think I figured it out I made this abstract flower it's kind of like a rose or a flower of some type I don't know into a sun catcher so I was happy. I was happy I finally figured something out that looked halfway decent and proportionate. So I'm hanging that on my window. And so then last night, and when I'm, which I, it's a bad habit and I really need to, but after, you know, we go to bed, I get on my iPad and I watch my YouTube videos then, all my subscriptions that, you know, of you guys. And, um, 
I also, and then I see, because I'm I've been looking at the jewelry, the solder jewelry. Oh, actually on Pinterest, that's what it is. So I go on to Pinterest and I look up all the different solder jewelry. And so I go over to Etsy and I ordered a couple of um, collage sheets. And this isn't everything, this is just some scraps, but I wanted to see if I had, uh, here it is, here's one of them that I ordered, this one, this one's pretty cute. This has a bunch of different queens on it, right? So the pink queen, the glamour queen, shoe queen, beauty queen, mommy queen, sewing queens, you know, so all those, So and these are the size of the slides, because I did end up getting the slides and I ordered this from Amazon so let me empty this out I got this microscope microscope slides there's 72 of them in here and it wasn't very much I don't remember how much it was but um, they're plain uh, with ground edges I got the ground edges so I don't have to do anything to them and they're ready to go and so you can just use two of them Kirby stop she won't she won't stop and you can make yourself a little charm so this is one of them but I ordered other collage sheets and this is one of the collage sheets I ordered and it had now they weren't exactly matchy matchy but I thought they were similar enough like this has a butterfly on the front and bees on the back but it's French and it has roses so I thought it matched well enough and I just soldered a little piece of um, wire I twist this little wire right here it's so easy to do but I take my round nose pliers and just basically go around like that and that's it and then I clip it and then this becomes I play with it a little make sure they're straight and then I adhere this to the top here and then put a jump ring through it to make it hang but I think that's a little more secure than just trying to adhere the jump ring to the top so that's what I've been doing um, I did this one I did a couple more they're pretty cute and they're, they're oh, I just kicked her this one was cute it says Queen Bee but see the thing maybe I could have gotten it to print out a little smaller I'm not sure because most of the cue got um, cut off by the solder because you have to wrap it with tape and then look there's a queen bee on the back and I used my Wink Estella on her wings and some of her um, her dress and then on the wings of the bee and then I just put this little bee charm on here and you would hang it from a chain so I did that one and here's one of the, this one's called the Altered Art Queen. And I just went around the words a little. Like I didn't do too much to it. I think I put a little wink of Stella on her butterfly. And I went over her crown with some gold uh, gel pen. And, oh, I put some silver paper. This is just scrapbook paper. But I want to come up with a cool charm to put on that. This one I made myself. Let me show you, wait, let me show you these first, because these, um, these came in the collage sheets. This says, trust your crazy ideas, and there's a skull on the front, and this, the tape didn't stick down all the way, I, I don't think, and it's kind of coming up, like when I soldered it, it didn't, it's got an issue, so I might have to redo that. And it's, it's cool because, I mean, I could pull that off and do it again. I put a gold tooth on his tooth, and I just put Wink Estella all around the green. And I used a piece of scrap paper, which was just like a piece of um, scrapbooking paper, and that was the same color. And then these are um, words from Tim Holtz. The Tim Holtz like this. The ideology chit-chat, or maybe it was a different one. Small talk. So I did that one. I didn't even, I didn't put the um, clasp on that one yet. There's a couple here that I didn't put the clasp on yet. Uh, this one I made myself, <coughs> and I didn't put the clasp on it yet. And I just stamped the word adore onto uh, 
like polka dot paper and punched out a bunch of silver hearts and then I embossed a door on the paper and just did that and I soldered around that and then I would probably put the same type of um, rings on it as I did this one. This one I made. This was just, um, let's see, I have, like I cut out these little, these are from dominoes, like that you're supposed to use for dominoes. So I cut out a piece of paper, like, I think that's just uh, like this. See, I was going to do, I'm going to do another one. So all you do basically is you take, it's one by three, a piece of paper. And I have this little angel, a little cherub, and I'll glue him down. And I have the word imagine from the Tim Holtz chit chat. And then I think I stamped this out onto a piece of greenish because I saw a little bit of green in the wings I don't know I just liked it a green dragonfly and it says imagine and I would just glue that together something like that put him on top of there and then you put your slide on top and I um, inked the edges on some stuff. I put Wink Estella on the dragonfly. And then after it's all glued together, you just tape it up and then you can make it into your own little artwork. I was thinking it would be cool to do some um, mixed media backgrounds and cut them up into one by threes and make little, you know, personalized art, like my own art. I just didn't do that today. I just did this because I had these collage sheets. But I had this, I was going to do this Yupo paper. And this is Yupo paper that I'd done before with, um, what, what, are, what do you use, like stains or uh, alcohol ink? And then I stamped a little bit of music notes on it. So you can do, you can make your own little artworks and, and frame them and make little pieces of jewelry with it. But yeah, so I just wanted to play, I was been playing around with the solder and before I put it away because... I have to work on my art journal. Um, the I think it's the third class already for Wonderlust was uh, they go up on Fridays. So Friday that went up and I haven't had a chance. I watched it, but I haven't had a chance to do it. So I want to do that. And uh, see, here's other ones of the collage sheets that I ordered. And these this is just scrapbook paper to put behind in case uh, I want to, like this one I didn't even put anything behind it's just, I just left it white and I put a couple of charms on it and then I was thinking I would attach chain to both sides of it instead of having just one uh, class or bale right there so anywho I just wanted to show you that this one's cute Maybe I'll put some of these in my Etsy store if I, if I feel like I'm getting good at it and they're, and they're nice. All right, you guys? Let me go out. I'll go out. And that's it. Thanks for watching.